Hello, we're back. I got a comment on the last video saying that we should use a front wheel drive drift car. Now, I've, I have a bit of money, but I'm not so sure I want to do that immediately. I do want to use this a little bit more, but let's start with the Evo, get some race events done, get some money, sell, the, uh, sell this car, and then we'll look at some options. One thing I should mention, audio should sound a little bit different. I attempted to install RTX Voice, uh, and I don't have an RTX card, but there are ways around it, and I hope I did that correctly. Time trial events are always easy in this game. They uh, always give you way too much time. I don't think they put a whole lot of thought into it. And that's not to say that the AI is, um, the AI is, is difficult, but rather the AI is closer to what should be a normal speed compared to what your car would have capability but the thing is with these time trial events I think they try to overcompensate and also another thing is AI will rubber band to you and away but there's a hard set time this is honestly not that bad I remember uh, driving with grip handling being very frustrating but I think with the right cars it could be manageable one of the things I noticed within my own editing is that there are a lot of bland moments that I can't really commentate on without saying something that's unnecessary. And I hope to uh, prevent that, but the true nature of this is that there isn't a whole lot that's extremely interesting. Or at least, it's not as interesting as I'd hope. All things considered, I am looking at potentially ending this with this episode, just because if nothing of interest is going to happen, then what's the point? I'm going to hope that in the future there are reasons to keep this going, if that makes any sense. One other thing that I've noticed is that scheduled uploads do not seem to be doing much work for me. I attempted them sometimes, but either it kills my views or that's just what would have normally happened if people just choose to watch what they're entertained by and if they aren't entertained by this so I'm gonna have to keep experimenting but I think for this one and the rest they won't be scheduled or anything like that I was considering doing these or having these uploaded every Tuesday but I'm not so sure if that's an ideal goal or just because of how badly it uh, messed up with views. And you know, it, there wasn't a huge impact. This channel doesn't really get a lot anyways. Um, but the reason why I would want people to see this is because otherwise there would be no reason for me making these. No, I'm not getting any money out of this. And I probably won't ever make money off of YouTube. The, the point is actually because I, there are things that I find peculiar or interesting and the whole purpose is to share them and not, and there's no purpose in sharing them if no one is going to see them. And on a side note, this Evo is murdering competition. This corner, I'm gonna, nope, kinda try to drift around it. That, I think I'll just have to slow down and take corners like that with more thought. Here we are. That's much better. Since we are so far ahead, I think I'm actually going to trigger the uh, phone call conversation mid race. I meant to hit messages. I guess we're going to do that again. Since we're on attempt two, I think I'm going to attempt to do that again. Hey, it's Amy. Okay, I think that will now prompt the next mission to appear on the map. And we didn't seem to lose too much of our lead. Second place seems to be keeping up pretty well. You know, if you use your brain, going around corners in a full grip car is not that bad. And I know I've said the same thing hundreds of times now, but I am starting to view the dri grip handling of this game in a different light. I always thought this was interesting about how there are AI, even though this is a time trial. I really don't like races in the hills. 
They just seem a bit too boring at this pace. I'm also wondering if I should do Eddie's challenge. The races in Eddie's challenge do seem a bit harder than the rest of the game to my memory. So if memory serves me right, it should be a bit difficult. Assuming that full grip is completely possible with respect to finishing the game, I'm not so sure how much that's gonna matter to or how much it mattered to the developers when making Eddie's challenge or if they already acknowledge that the majority of play players probably uh, have accustomed to tuning their vehicles and using brake to drift which means that they wouldn't have to worry about the game being too difficult. I just realized that another incentive of Eddie's challenge is that it'll, it'll help us level up a bit faster because it's pretty likely that we'll reach a point where we're level let's say 40 and I can't finish an event and so the next step would be to get upgrades that we don't have unlocked yet and Eddie's challenge should be a good source of money and also reputation don't forget you have to hit the target speed for this to be a I actually don't remember what the target speed is um it'll tell me 150 I actually am not a hundred percent sure if Okay, now this this car, I think stock can, yeah, can it hit like 160 or something like that? Stock. Uh, if I care enough, I'll put a picture listing a, a uh, where am I going? Where on earth? I'm gonna put a picture of the uh, stock Evo 9 stop speed. I actually think it might be in the 170s, but not sure. The Evo 9's probably my favorite uh, JDM car of all time. And just in general one of my favorite cars. I think it's interesting that while this game has the most broken handling out of all ghost games, um, there doesn't seem to be any clipping issues as far as I'm concerned. If anything I can't remember it enough for it to be an issue. Anytime we turn we seem to lose so much speed. I hope that I can- whoa! I hope I can be able to hit the top speed. And oh my gosh I don't think we did it. I hope there's one more chance. Okay, we're good. Since we've almost got the cops on us, let's try to do the cop mission. There we go. Nah, I actually don't remember what it was. Two roadblocks and escape. Okay. I like how the cops are so bad, I can just pause in the middle of the game while online only so the world keeps going and I still won't get busted. Just gonna have a relaxing stroll through the city. Or maybe I have to be at a certain heat level to get Roblox. That would make sense. Well, seeing this R35, I was gonna consider. Oh, I was gonna consider getting one of those, but it's uh, notoriously terrible in this game, and also other games that Ghost made. For some reason, the R35 is just a bad car in Need for Speed, almost always. Um, I hope they balance things out a bit better next time around. They haven't balanced the RSR in five years, so what I'm hoping for isn't exactly realistic. I also don't think I'm in the right place for roadblocks, because I think there are some narrower roads where it's more common or something like that. Finally, now I'm curious, and I don't think that's how this game works, but let's see if, um, okay, that doesn't work. I was wondering if you could just cheese the system by walking through the same roadblock twice. This is the most boring cop mission we've done so far. There we go. If I if I work on that, I could figure out how to effectively slide around the corners. How is it taking this long to escape? This is quite sad, honestly. Not being able to escape from 2015's cops is quite a, uh, quite a pathetic feat. I think I'm in the stage of the game where a lot of these events are in the hills, so hopefully after a couple more we should be, for the most part, done. Rest in peace, Amy. I gotta stop trying that. And also, if I drift around corners, that defeats the purpose of the whole challenge. Still finishing these things about 30 or so seconds ahead of the time limit. Now I'm wondering what this what the target demographic was 
Because there's no way someone my age is going to struggle with that. But am I even the uh, target age or not? I think it would be a bit odd for them to have the target demographic as someone younger. Because when this game came out, it was the first street racing focused, or rather underground car culture focused uh, Need for Speed game in so long. And so most of those fans were not, you know, people who grew up with the Criterion era of games. We've been doing race events for quite a bit now, so I'll switch over to the drift car and then we'll look at replacing it. Three events that we can do with drift cars, and then after that, let's take a look back at our, um, how much money we got, sell the 86, and look at our front wheel drive car. Why is it a drift train if it's just with one other person? And I've already forgotten how this car feels. I have to relearn it every single time. And that's why I'm trying, but I can't. I think that's I think that's a sign that we need a faster car. Because it doesn't matter how much how many drift points we can get, we can't keep up. But you know what? Now it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we never catch up. We just need to finish the event. I also forgot about Jim Connor events. If I'm not fast enough to cross the finish line in time, then I uh, definitely need to upgrade. I guess the plan for now is get through this as fast as we can, and uh, we'll get enough drift points along the way. I remember the last event in the game, uh, the last drift event, Mental Block, I think is what it was called. I couldn't beat it, I was using uh, an EVO 9 actually for drifting, and uh, my issue is just that I couldn't get it in the time. I had a lot more points than needed, but if you don't finish it, you don't finish it. Now I actually think I'm not going to get enough points. Come on. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Thinking about drifting grip cars, I've always used the Huracan as a full grip, uh, full drift car because you know it's the best drift car in this game for some reason. But I'm wondering if it's viable as a grip vehicle towards the end of the game, if that's what we want to aim for. You know, it doesn't really matter how ridiculous your suggestion is. If you have something to suggest, do it, because I'll probably do it in the end. At the end of the day, this is for your entertainment, and if you're not entertained, then there's no point. Escaping might actually prove to be troublesome. With this. And if that keeps happening... Oh, it's in fourth. Why is it in fourth? Why is it in fourth? Oh, come on. Am I actually going to get busted to the cops in the speed 2015? Can't beat them on the straights. Nor in corners. Just gonna have to hope he messes up. And then he messes up before I do. Oh, or just, you know what? There you go. Okay, after this drift event, I'm gonna head back to the garage, look at the other cars we can get. And honestly, we don't even need that much money because front wheel drive cars in this game only go up to a certain price. You know, you're not gonna find a front wheel drive Lamborghini. I don't remember if there's ever an actual race event that goes down these roads because if there was that would be interesting honestly I think there's something special about the map design in this game although I do think many parts of Heat's map are way better um, the nature of this being closed off although restricts freedom it allows for more concentrated development on places where you're, you'll actually be racing and not just, you know, on the dirt. What I'm trying to say is, you make a barren wasteland, no one's gonna use that part, you know? People are gonna race on the roads. And if you block off places that no one's gonna drive in, then you can focus all your efforts on places where people are gonna drive in. Uh, you know, why do you think people like Burnout Paradise's map, this game's map, uh, Midnight Club's maps, you know? And yeah, there are some sections, but with some limitations. And even for the Horizon 1 map, it had uh, a lot of unique 
concentrated, uh, concentrated, but it had a lot of places of interest that, uh, while do exist in Modern Horizon, aren't as memorable to me, personally. And Horizon gets a pass, because it does have cross-country and all of that. But as for Need for Speed, I don't know what they're doing with their map design. I also don't like how the city areas and heat are very grid-like. Yes, I understand. Um, it's realistic. But the thing is, the gameplay doesn't really suit that kind of realism. A map like this, where you'll have city routes that are twisting and bending, I think it suits the gameplay. Because if you think about it, Need for Speed has always been, if not a track racer, a track racer that takes place in an open world. Something like Midnight Club would actually benefit from having these grid-like cities, because you can forge your own path with them. Alright then. Wow, we've got about 80 grand. And now we'll have... 100 grand. We could also invest in a race car. Uh, or a grip car, whatever you want to call it. Um, we could... You know what? The RSR but near guarantee that we're going to be able to finish the game. But I think that would be too easy. I also th wondered, because if I recall correctly, I think the Corvette Z06 in this game is pretty decent handling. So that's something to look out for. If I want to make a, a rough sort of plan for how things want to go, I think I'm going to try for grip racing an NSX, and then later on, later on a Corvette, and after that, one of these. We're not going to use the back customs. That's too easy. Um, maybe the F40, or something a bit cheaper. You know what? I think I kind of want to use the Diablo. The Diablo or the 458. We'll see. It's it's not that time yet. Now we need to find a drift car. A front wheel drive drift car. So we could start with the GTI. If we really want to save money. But we're in no need of that. Um, we got this. This. Looks like we're pretty limited here. We got this. This. And that. Um, unless I'm forgetting something. You know, I feel like this would be the quote-unquote obvious choice. But, I think I actually want to go for this. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's do that. You know, I'm just going to throw in everything I can. See where we can go with this. Because I think we're good with the Evo in its current state. Wow, okay. This thing makes near 500. That is quite a bit faster than our Evo here, but we have money. We might be able to upgrade that too. Bit of a boring color chase, but I think this is fine. Oh, this is bizarre. And not that bad. What on earth, man? Whoopsies, I bet. This is, you know, this might actually still be too easy. Definitely faster. You can feel how much more quick this is. I'm extremely surprised. Well, because I would never have built this car for drift events in the first place had I not thought of doing that for something like this, but it seems pretty good and somewhat controllable, but predictable, almost, almost. You know, regardless of whether or not this makes things more challenging, I did not, I did not know this. We made some pretty significant progress, so I think that's going to round it off. Tell me what cars I should use. The plans that I made with the Corvette, possibly a 458 or a Diablo. Those are just all up in the air right now. 
Um, if there's something you want to see me use, then please go ahead. 